Today we are going to go through the infamous programming languages tier list. So I'm going to rank all of the programming languages slash technologies that I have comfortable experience in. These are sort of all arranged roughly in the order that I learned them in. Let's just skip a -roo into it. So if we just bring up this bad boy here, we're going to see the ones that we have. So we got Java, we got C, C++, this beautiful little graph is MATLAB, JavaScript, this uh, ill image, ill image of random code is ARM assembly, HTML and CSS, even though it just says HTML. And I know, I know HTML isn't really considered a programming language, more of a technology, like even though the, the acronym is literally hypertext markup language, but a lot of people complain that it's not a language, so just want to say that, but I thought it would be useful to include. SQL, which again is also not really a programming language, but I thought it would be useful to include also. Python, Swift, and C Sharp. So Java I learned first and C Sharp I learned most recently. So also just as a disclaimer, these are just my opinions and experiences with these languages. So take it with a grain of salt. So first up is Java. So Java is usually among the first programming languages people learn, either that or Python, because it's a pretty good introduction to object-oriented programming and, you know, classical programming principles and paradigms. It's also taught for the AP Computer Science A exam, uh, which I took in high school, so that's where I first learned it. It isn't amazing but I think it's like a solid mid-tier language, so I think that's a solid B-tier, honestly. I think that's that's a solid B-tier. Now, so C is usually the most common second language people learn if you're a computer science major, and that's because it's like Java, is a C-style language, obviously, but it just has less and more frustrating than Java, sort of. Honestly, I found it just a lot more confusing and difficult to deal with Compared to Java, I didn't love it, and honestly, I think one of the hardest classes I've ever had in college was primarily, all of our programming assignments were primarily in C. I'm gonna have to go with, and also the the letter is C, so I'm kind of obliged to to put it in, in tier C. All right, C++, you might, you might be thinking, might be thinking, oh, he put, he put C in tier C, so C++ must be at most tier B. Well, you're wrong. I don't know what it is about C++, but I love it. I had a blast coding in C++. And also one of my most favorite computer science classes in college, which was CSC 101, which I think was advanced data structures. That was all written in C++ and I don't know why, but whenever I was writing code in C++, it's not like the easiest or like the fewest lines of code, but it was felt like the most rewarding language to code in. And for a decent amount of time, when I was doing like internship interviews, uh, like technical interviews, or like online assessments, C++ was always my go-to language. I don't know why, probably not a smart idea. Python's usually a better idea because it takes less lines of code. But honestly, I, I still do love C++. So I have a lot of positive association with it, so that's solid S tier. Now MATLAB, oh MATLAB. So MATLAB isn't a super popular programming language, um, but since my major was math and computer science in college, MATLAB is used a lot for a lot of, uh, you know, intense math computations, and it makes doing math programmatically really easy. So in that sense, it's a good programming language, but it's also just, annoying like it's just so annoying to deal with a lot of the syntax just doesn't make sense and like the built-in matlab ide is just like super confusing to use it's just very non-intuitive but it's very very powerful but if i look at matlab compared to all of the other languages on this list i honestly liked it the least out of all of these so that's it's got to be a d it's got to be d tier unfortunately fortunately i got a 
gotta throw that bad boy there. So the first time I used JavaScript, I think was during my North of Grumman internship partially, and I generally liked it. I thought it was a, uh, a well-written language and it was easier to understand than say like C or MATLAB, um, but I didn't think it was like crazy special in the way that made me hate it or love it. So again, I think I think it's close to Java in terms of how much I actually like it. And also it's a just in time compiled language, which means there's no compile time for those not familiar compared to like other languages on this list. And that's also super helpful for web dev stuff. But I think since it's sort of like a mid tier, in my opinion, that's, that's going to go solid B right next to its big brother Java. Now this bad boy is ARM assembly. So for those not familiar, assembly is a very low level language. It's about like manipulating registries and stuff like that. So I would never wanna code a serious program in assembly cause that would just be absolutely insane. But I actually did have a college class. I think it was called computer science organization and systems. And we actually did, we were either coding in C or assembly. So. I didn't like the C part, but the assembly part I thought definitely interesting to see a much lower level programming language and how things are actually done at such a low level. It was also a lower stress class in college, uh, computer science class, so I think that gave me a more positive association with assembly since a lot of our programming assignments were in assembly. So simply due to the fact of how interesting I thought it was, as well as the po that positive association, that's gonna be B tier, I think, too. So HTML and CSS, again, I know, not typical computer science languages, not typical programming languages, but HTML and CSS are used a lot alongside JavaScript uh, in web dev, so JavaScript is more of the programming language, language of web dev. And HTML, CSS are more of like technologies that you use with it, but I thought it would be useful to include. So it's a lot of uh, very, you know, very powerful in web dev. I actually used a, it a lot, HTML and CSS in my senior year of college, because I had a class in web application and maintenance where we talked about the performance of web applications. So that dealt a lot with HTML and CSS primarily, actually. I found it interesting, but I don't love web dev stuff. So honestly, I'm gonna put HTML and CSS in, in C tier. So SQL, SQL, whatever you wanna call it, you know, it's usually just used for uh, database management. So I used it, I think, a little bit in one of my internships and I actually use it a little bit now at Microsoft, again, to do database management. It's not a typical programming language rather than a technology. There's different, you know, types of SQL, slightly different syntax. You know, it's interesting. It's useful for data science purposes. Um, I know if you're a data science major, you use SQL quite a lot alongside Python. But again, it, it's not like it doesn't make me super interested in it. But I think it's about on the same tier as HTML and CSS, honestly. So that's gonna be C tier. Oh, now Python. So if you're familiar with this channel, you'll probably know my affection towards Python. I think it's an awesome and fun programming language, but in like a different way compared to C++. Python, you can almost do everything in way fewer lines of code than you would in C++. It's super fun to mess around with side projects when you don't have to really stress or worry about performance. If you're planning on min max performance, you might see a slight performance dip compared to a compiled language. But nevertheless, I love Python. I think it's a great language. It's one of my favorites. It's really easy to learn, really fun. I think it brings a lot of, I think it brings the fun to computer science. Because you read a line in Python, you're like, oh, I know what this does, because it's almost like English. So whereas C++ had that weird sense of satisfaction when coding, I think Python is just a good language to learn. I think it's very useful. I think it's very fun. So that's easy S tier. Swift, I, th I believe this was created relatively recently. Uh, I think in 2014 by Apple to become their primary programming language. I used it briefly to help a friend code an app for his project. So I got my feet a little bit wet with Swift. I'm not like super comfortable. I don't have a ton of experience, but what I did in Swift, I actually liked. But for the reason that I don't know, 
I don't know enough about it compared to the other things on this list that I have more experience in. I'm gonna put it high B tier, high B tier, low A tier. So it could really migrate between these two. I have a feeling that if I got a little bit, little bit more familiar, I would throw it in A tier, but I'm not entirely sure. So we're gonna, we're gonna go high B tier. I just learned slash am still learning C sharp because this is the primary programming language that's used at Microsoft. And that's basically what I use to code every day. But so far, I actually really like C sharp. Uh, it has that sort of weird sense of satisfaction that you get with coding like I did in C++. So I really do like like it for that aspect of it. So there's some pretty cool and powerful things you can do with it, like asynchronous programming, which I haven't done in any other programming language, which basically just means that you can have like one piece of code start executing while code below can continue to execute, which is really cool. And it's so like you don't have to have certain blocking, like code that blocks other things from running. Uh, and that also can tie into multi-threading. So you can do a lot of really powerful stuff and cool stuff with that. Uh, I'm still learning a lot with it, but I do like it. I wouldn't say I like it as much or I'm as familiar with it as C++ and Python. Definitely gonna get up there. So I think maybe give me like another year with C Sharp and it might be S tier, but honestly, uh, I think it's solid A tier. I think this is a comfortable position for all of these languages. And also you kind of see that like normal distribution, right? Honestly, what do you guys think of this tier list? Also in the comments, feel free to put your tier list of whatever you would rank these languages as well as feel free to add other languages that you know or other technologies that you know. If you guys wanna make a tier list, this is on tierlists.com. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any suggestions for future ones, consider commenting them down below. That also helps the YouTube algorithm. If you like college advice, computer science, career advice, fun projects, anything like that, feel free to subscribe to the channel and I would actually love it if you did. If you like the video, consider liking it for the YouTube algorithm. You can always count on bad British accents from your boy. I also wanna plug my last video, my 1000 subscriber special. We did some very cool computer vision with the OpenCV, TensorFlow, and Microsoft's custom vision tool. So if you are interested in any of those things, consider checking that out. And hopefully guys, I'll see you in a future video. Bye bye